Hey, in this video I will cover formaldehyde regulations and restrictions in the United States. So formaldehyde is a is, is a naturally occurring uh, organic compound that is used to manufacture certain wooden products, but can also be used in the textiles industry. The problem with formaldehyde is, um, well, compared to other substances that we've been covering, uh, uh, in our knowledge base uh, fairly mild but it, it can cause irritations and also more severe uh, conditions. Now which products may contain formaldehyde? Let's say that the, the main discussion when it comes to formaldehyde is compressed wooden products plywood, fiberboard, uh, particle boards and so on. But also often included in textiles testing uh, food contact materials, in particular when it comes to composites and certain cosmetic products. So, are formaldehyde banned in the United States? Uh, not outright banned, but there are limits. And the limits depend on the specific product type. So you got Toxic Substances Chemical Act that cover formaldehyde or basically set limits uh, concerning formaldehyde in composite wood products. There's also the Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act covering, you guessed it, cosmetics, FHSA, and a number of state level regulations. So you've got both on a federal level and also state level, which is often the case in the US. So, let's look into TC, TSCA, and basically what this does, uh, we go into, in, into more detail on the website if you want to learn more about this, but just to give an idea about how these formaldehyde restrictions may work in practice, um, this regulation references a certain ASTM standard, in this case ASTM E133314, as the testing method and it also sets certain limits so you see that for hardwood plywood the formaldehyde limit is set as 0 0.05 ppm whereas it's a bit high for particle board don't ask me why I have no idea and also some documentation requirements meaning that you need to not just say that your product is compliant but also keep some sort of record that could be a test report for example as said, we go into more detail on the website. Now, how do you know which tests you need for your product? And that basically, how do you know which limit applies to your product, in your state, for the specific material that your product is made of? And, or also application, by the way, because it's not just these, these um, pressed hardwood, it's also cosmetics, there's FCM, there's, there's also uh, textiles to take into consideration. My recommendation is that you just let a lab testing company do this for you. You give them a product image, a bill of materials, usage description, and basically tell them uh, where you plan to sell the product. And based on this, they can then say, okay, we think this, this is the limit that we need to test for. And how much should you expect to pay? Again, depends on the number of different materials and by extension different products but by looking at our customer base I would say that our customers pay somewhere between 70 to 150 USD when it comes to formaldehyde testing and yeah that's significantly lower compared to say phthalate testing or heavy metals testing but then again this is also just one substance so it can't really be compared Okay, if you want to learn more about compliance requirements in the US or the EU, you can try out the ComplianceGate tool on compliancegate.com tool or, of course, also subscribe for more videos.